Okay, let's finish this run up. I am confident that I can at least get to the boss this time. Um, as usual, when I get to Act 3, though, I kind of want to play it safe and not go after Elites, so... Um, hitting up question marks, I would have to fight an Elite that way. Uh, I could hit a Merchant. I do have a decent amount of money this way. And then question marks. I'm going to have to face an Elite there. The only way that I would not face an Elite is hit a Merchant here. Two question marks. Campfire. This looks like it would also end in pain. So at this point I would have to diverge this way. And then it's mostly question marks and a couple fights that way. Alright, so that will be my path. Let's do this. Okay. Defend, defend. And I will not attack this turn because I want that energy. I will take damage anyway. Bring it on. There's the inflames. So I will be able to play all of you. There's no point in playing the armaments, even though I do have the energy for it. Um, maybe I'll drink this. Alright, so at the very least I can upgrade Clash. And I will be able to play it now because everything in my hand is an attack. So I can do 15, 15, 27. Let's do 27 to the guy that's going to be doing the most damage. Just as a punishment for being so aggressive. And let's move on. I probably shouldn't have defended, but I would have had to get it out of my hand anyway if I wanted to play Clash, so... It's only one extra damage at this point. During a boss, it's more important to min-max than against these guys, I feel. I will get more defense this time. Uh, I don't necessarily need to, because I don't have Clash in my hand. But I don't feel like playing Bash either, so... Let's get you down while I have the opportunity. I want to be able to finish all three of these guys off in, in one go. Okay, with Bludgeon I could definitely kill one of you outright. Would it be enough? Yeah, it would definitely be enough to kill the one with the most health. Um, but that would not leave me enough energy to play the block so that I could play the Clash. He would survive with one health if I played that against him. Yeah, so no matter what, this is going to be the guy that survives. Uh, yeah, because I'll still have two turns to kill him, because I can't play Clash. Okay. These guys will come back in one more turn. Alright, so let's just get rid of you. Voila! Fire potion. I could get that, that would be really nice. Considering I, once I play all my inflames, not counting flex, I would have 12 strength. Which would be 36 strength counted for this guy. That's really the only card I'm kind of interested in adding to my deck at this point. I'll take that. And at the merchant, I'm going to remove another strike. So these guys explode, so the faster I kill them, the better. Armaments. Flex it up. 34. 22, so I could kill one of the exploders now. He's going to keep adding dazed, I think, cards into my hand. So I'll use that on him, and I'm definitely going to get rid of one of you exploders now. I could almost get rid of the Repulsor if I use the Fire Potion. I'm going to hold on to it though, because it may come in handy later. Yep, double dazed. And already one of them turns up. Alright, well let's get the Inflame out at the very least. So I can't use that Clash, thanks to that. But I can do enough damage to get rid of this Repulsor. And he's going to buff his exploding damage, so he'll I'll have to block more. Want to kill him or just take it? Uh, let's see. I would 
get 10 block. If I played both of them, I wouldn't be able to do enough anyway to kill him in this turn, so let's just get out the anger and one defend. That way I don't take full damage. He's probably going to try to buff his explosion damage again. No, he's going to keep attacking. That's good. Alright, I could have used bludgeon, probably. It may have been the smarter option. Probably was the smarter option, and I'm an idiot. Oh well. That four damage, if that's what kills me in the end, we know where I went wrong. Alright, don't want any of those. Skip. Let's remove a strike. Strike! Removed! Uh, is there anything else I want? Apply two weak, draw two cards, put card from top here. Uh, upon choose a skill card at the start of each combat, the skill will be in your hand. Whenever you add a skill card to your deck, it is upgraded. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. I am definitely getting the shuriken. Oh boy. Because the more angers I get, the more likely it is that I'll be dealing three attacks, thus increasing my strength even further. This is going to be good. Alright. Fall, so I'm going to lose a card. Hey, perfect. Lose another strike. I don't need it. What event? Purple Fire Spirits. You can offer a card to receive a reward based on that offer. Last time I came across these guys, I offered them a bash, and they were not too interested. Because I don't... I'm not interested. It's a starting card. I don't need it. You think they'll take it this time? Maybe I give them my armaments, because I'm not really using it. Let's see what happens. Oh, they gave me 5 HP. Did that actually take the armaments? Yes, it did. Good. Okay. Perfect. It's something, at least. Uh, is there anything I want to smith? Let's see, I could upgrade bludgeon, I could upgrade heavy blade. Ooh. That could end up doing some pretty serious damage with the strength build I have going. Um, that would leave me with 60 health. And let me take a quick peek at the map. So I'm going to dodge the elite, hit up with another merchant, another campfire. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I can smith it. Let's upgrade Heavy Blade. Proceed! And I do not have enough money to do anything except buy a True Grit. Gain 7 block, exhaust a random card in your hand. Nah. No, don't need it. Now the campfire. This time I'm going to heal. Get up to 86. Just in case some of these question marks screw me over, or I come across a bad fight. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. I wonder if that also counts for this. 50% more effective means I'll be getting probably 3 health instead of 2 every time I play a power. We'll find out. Now the campfire. Uh, what to upgrade? I've got 2 clashes. I could upgrade bludgeon. I could upgrade flex permanently. Let's do that. More strength. More strength! Alright, another question mark. What do I got? Ah, oh, yeah, the insanity or madness. Random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of combat. Yes. I am more than willing to lose some health to get some madness going. Alright, jaw. Or the maw. Please be bludgeon. Please be bludgeon. I may be able to make this more likely in my favor. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, but I don't have the energy. God damn it, I did not plan that out. I'm an idiot. If I had the energy, I could play this. And I know when you upgrade it, Madness, I think becomes zero cost. And then I would have been able to make bludgeon cost nothing. A three energy attack for nothing for the rest of combat. How glorious would that be? Alright, so there's my flames, so if that flower relic is correct, then it should be healing me three instead of two. It is! So let's toss all three of those out. Ah, oh, but that's going to use up all my energy, so I can't play defend or clash. 
but the fight's gonna go faster. I mean, playing the one defend, I get one extra defense by not playing it anyway. Alright, so I got bash, defend, anger, anger, clash. I would have to pay, play the defend, which I'll be able to do anyway. I probably should have played the bash first because it would have made him vulnerable, thus taking more damage. And again, I am really bad at planning ahead. What are you doing? Increasing your strength. Alright, fine. You know, if I want to actually win this game at some point, I really should stop to think ahead sometimes. I really should. Alright, so that's going to be a free attack. There we go. So I haven't been able to use the shuriken just yet, I don't think. I do have an odd number of strength, though. So maybe I did and I just wasn't paying attention. Alright. Yeah, so this time I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to play the bash first. Then the anger. Then the clash. There we go. And I did. Yeah, so I am increasing my strength. I'm smart. You can increase your strength all you want, Bob. I'm increasing mine much faster than you. Already my anchor was doing 30 damage per hit. Holy fuck. Uh, nope, don't need any of those. Another question mark, question mark, campfire. Perfect. Merchant, don't want you. So this is just a free tile to not have to fight. Is this going to be a fight? It is going to be a fight. All right. Wait. A bony sphere surrounds a mysterious glowing object with him. While you are curious, you notice some S sentries. So I could leave, or I could fight them and get a relic. Considering this is Act 3 and I have never beaten the game, I'm going to leave. I am not that greedy. Sorry, guys. Well, not sorry. You, uh, you enjoy your life? I'm going to go on and uh, kill this guy, hopefully. Donu and Dekka. I've only seen these guys come up in a video. I've never fought this guy. So... I hope this goes okay. So he's gonna do 20 damage. I can gain 10 block. No, I can gain 5 block. I should not have played. Ah, uh, well. Do 10 damage to both of you, and... I don't know who's gonna be more damaging. So I'll throw it at Dekka, I guess. Their droopy little bits are kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Also, there's a really awesome local donut place called Duck Donuts, and this is making me hungry. Alright, so Clash is free. Strike, one. Anger, free. Defense, one. So, if I... I think it would probably be in my benefit to make all of my attacks free. So I want to play this. That way when I play this, it's guaranteed that the strike is free. And yeah, he's going to do 26 damage, so... Strike, Anger, Clash... Get him down as low as possible. What are you buffing? You're going to increase everybody's strength again, probably. Oh no, you added the, uh... You're one of those cunts. Adding days to my hand. Alright. There's another Inflame, a little bit of health think ahead this time if I play bash they'll be vulnerable so it'll take more damage but I won't be able to play clash because I have a defend and if I play defend I won't be able to play bash 24 damage they take 50% more damage so the anger would do more I'm gonna get more block from the orichalcum so I think it's in my benefit to play bash and anger um, the donut's the one giving me the debuffs, but this guy is lower at this point, so I'm just going to keep focusing on getting rid of Dekka. I don't know how dangerous Dekka is, but that's my goal. There's another in flame. God, these guys do a lot of damage. That is no joke. Alright, so Heavy Blade at this point is already dealing 64 damage. Oh man, and I'm throwing in a flame out, and I'm going to throw a flex out. So my anger is doing 23. My fl <laughs> oh 
Holy shit. 99 damage. It was just shy of being able to break 100. Oh my god. Of course, I'm almost fucking dead. Oh god. There's no way I'm winning this at this point. No, it's just not happening. I could play... Okay, so Bludgeon's gonna be free. Because I can kill you. And then I play Bash on you. And I play this, so guarantee Bludgeon's free. That's gonna do 45 and 19. But I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I came so close this time. I'm pretty sure if I had fought like the Awakened or something... <gasps> yes! The Lizard Tail! I completely for I always forget when I have the Lizard Tail. Oh my god. I was so confident that I was dead. Confident and defeated and holy fuck. Alright, so no matter what, I'm not going to be able to play Clash, so I may as well play the Defend anyway. Holy shit. I always forget when I take this Lizard Tail. Oh my... My brain. Oh, it feels good. These days are really annoying though because I can't play that but at least my anger is doing so much damage all right so this next turn is probably gonna be some days hopefully these angers and flex come up or that heavy blade that beautiful beautiful heavy blade I should be able to kill him if I get heavy blade no <laughs> at least he's not attacking all right so he's definitely I guarantee you he is dead next turn. This will be the first time I've ever beaten this game. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Yes. Anger. Just because I want to. I could play Clash. No, I can't play Clash. But I'm doing 104 damage with Heavy Blade. You dead, son? The shapes achievements. That's killing the, the shape bosses. That is... Literally, the first time I have ever beaten this game. This is the heart of the spire, the source of evil. Continue. You ready your blade and attack it. I deal 495 damage. That's equivalent to the amount of points that I earned in the game, I believe. My heart squirms and bleeds, but ultimately it's still pounding. It's your mighty attack's not enough. So, the way this breaks down is uh, the amount of damage done to the heart is cumulative based on all of the players who have played this game. So this is how much damage players have done to the heart since the game has been released on Steam. It's over a billion. It's almost two billion. By all who have challenged it. How insane is that? And then you go to sleep. Victory? Maybe. Achievement? Ruby. Um, I'm guessing that's the name of the Ironclad. I'm not sure. How many points did I get? I got overkill, apparently. 495 points, yeah, like I said. I'm still not enough to get that final unlock. I'm very curious what the final unlocks are for both the Ironclad and the, the Silent. I'm currently working towards both of them. But goddamn, it took me an hour, almost exactly, to finally win. Oh man, that felt so good. An Anger Strength build. Getting that Heavy Blade was the best thing. I ever did and I think getting rid of those attacks to keep my deck at 20 cards or under was absolutely essential. If I had gotten rid of this other strike I think things would have been better. Um, Bash actually did play a good hand in, in things. Um, the madness definitely definitely helped making uh, my bludgeon free at that last chance. It's it's amazing the synergy you can get. It was really risky, uh, risky, risky. It's really risky only having the the basic defense though. I mean, if I hadn't had that lizard tail, I would have been dead, guaranteed, fucked beyond belief. Oh, I'm so happy, so very happy. The spire is still alive, but so be it. All right. At some point, I will record a successful run with the silence, beating the game, and I will probably drop in occasionally uh, with a, any fun runs I end up doing, or once I unlock the final um, unlocks for both classes, that way you can see all the different cards you can get. And I don't know when they're going to release the, uh, the third character, 
but I'm really looking forward to it because if these guys can be this powerful, but at the same time struggle so much when things just don't work out your way, I imagine a mage class is going to be so much fun. Probably super fragile, but really, really powerful if you get the right synergy. Alright, Remy from the Luckhead, signing out.